Okay, today we're talking about this amazingly fascinating man. Oh my God, this is a guy that I'm just completely, um, and, and it's mixed feelings. I mean, there's some things about him that are marvelous, and there's some things about him that you're troubled by, but a very, very interesting and incredibly creative guy named Robert Moses. Not so much a household word, but uh, this is a man who's had enormous, enormous effect on, uh, especially in New York State, New York City, but all, all of America um, since the time when he, he was uh, alive and in power. Um, he's met most known probably for the impact he had on park systems in the United States. When he began working on parks in, in the early 1920s, there were less than half the states in the United States had state parks. And many of those states only had one state park. When Robert Moses finished his little uh, effort on the part of state parks, uh, there were 5.8 million acres of state parks in the United States. And two and a half million of those, or 45%, were in New York. Uh, this man transformed the way we think about parks and how we use parks. Um, he, in 1923, had this vision for how he would give New York City, which was a very congested city, the opportunity to enjoy nature. And he had the idea, he had the vision of this <coughs> park system that would be connected to each other and to New York City by all of these park ways Again, it's like Norman Bel Geddes. He's understanding what the car is doing, what possibilities there are now that, that we have cars. And he thinks, you know, people can get out of the city. They can get to beautiful natural environments. It'll make a huge difference in their own well-being and just in the nature of the culture. So he imagined this system in 1923. He, he, he wanted 40,000 acres. That's huge. 40,000 acres of park within a short distance of New York City. And by 1929, he had realized that vision completely. All of the parks, all of the parkways in a short six-year span. An amazing visionary and also a man who figured out how to get things done, how to make his vision come to fruition. So we're going to be interested in looking at him on a number of accounts. For one thing, we're certainly going to be interested in his values and his vision. Uh, and we're not going to talk so much about that because we, we did that pretty thoroughly earlier in the semester. But this is a poster child for the way his values informed a vision. And you'll be able to see that when, when I describe his work in a few minutes. So that's certainly those two key terms, values and vision, uh, are very much a part of, of this discussion. But we're going to really focus on these four words we've been looking at the last week or two, and that is collaboration and teamwork and leadership and power. And especially on Thursday, we're going to really focus in on leadership and power. But today, I want us to start thinking about those terms, and in particular, about them in relation to Robert Moses.